Now let's get going folks and we'll begin like we will every day here on Menzoid Mornings with something that's really grinding my gears. Time now for the Menzoid Monologue. Now in geological time, the six decades that separates 2013 from the mid-1950s doesn't even qualify as a blink of an eyelash, but from a social studies perspective, well, the 1950s might as well have occurred centuries ago, given how much things have changed. Case in point, could you even imagine a show like this being produced today? The story of a man, his home, and his family. <laughs> Starring Robert Young and Jane Wyatt. <laughs> with Eleanor Donahue, Billy Gray, and Lauren Chapin in Father Knows Best. Whoa, Father Knows Best? Surely that is satire because a father in a sitcom today is more likely to resemble this guy. Hang on, you're adding kerosene? Peter, that's insane. That'll destroy your body. <laughs> kerosene is fuel, Brian. Red Bull is fuel. <laughs> kerosene is Red Bull. Now, why don't you leave me alone while I'm doing my important work? <laughs> Peter, that drink will kill you. Brian, whatever kills me makes me stronger. <sighs> See, Brian? I feel great. Now, I, I could have chosen so many examples of idiotic male figures that now dominate popular culture, folks, from American Dad to good old Homer Simpson. Father knows best, more like father knows nothing. Indeed, this coming Sunday is Father's Day, an opportunity to honor dear old dad, even though the forces in Hollywood and Madison Avenue have a different viewpoint of males these days. Indeed, to adapt the old Molson Canadian tagline, I am an idiot. Yeah, you read it right. According to numerous sources, I'm an incompetent goof, a pathetic primate who can barely function in our oh-so-complicated world. Why the lowly self-esteem? Well, no, I didn't invest in Brie X, nor do I drive a Pontiac Aztec. Rather, it's the advertising industry and pop culture that's convinced me I'm a loser due to one glaring prerequisite. I'm a guy. Indeed, a while back, I took inventory of radio and TV ads that involve situations in which there are two characters, one a man and the other a woman. In every single spot, folks, except one by FedEx, men were portrayed as imbeciles. Even if the script established the male character as a successful business owner, he still came across like the classic Phil Hartman character, unfrozen caveman lawyer from Saturday Night Live. As you might recall, the defrosted Neanderthal continually grunted that commonplace things in today's world, such as tall buildings and fast-moving cars, would frighten and confuse him. In today's advertising world, unfrozen cavemen abound. <clears throat> in a Toyota radio ad, for example, a male Toyota owner comes across as virtually brain damaged when he addresses a female Toyota customer service clerk. He can't remember or doesn't know what needs to be serviced on his car. He doesn't even know what he wants to drink. Thank goodness for the know-it-all service rep who tells him what needs to be done to remedy his engine, even without popping the hood, by the way. She also informs him he's experiencing a craving for caffeine. Another example, a CIBC radio ad establishes Tom as a successful businessman. Well, along comes a female customer who's not in Tom's line of business, but naturally is an expert when it comes to Tom's trade. She tells him to install a CIBC e-commerce solution in a tone reminiscent of a principal addressing a kindergarten student. And it's a global phenomenon, it would seem. Check out this ad for India-based Tata Motors. A sizzling hottie who'd like to get naughty. Do you know any man who help us rob some tan? Uh, I think uh, maybe we should try the beach cafe. Dum 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 dum. Congratulations, you are truly dumb. So there's no point in telling you about the all new Indica Zeta with 70 PS power, 14 K MPL, rupees 2.94 lakhs only. Huh? If you still miss it, you gotta be dumb. 
That's another trend in advertising these days, folks. The himbo has replaced the bimbo as a politically correct cheesecake or beefcake, as the case may be. But that's for another day. Of note, a few years ago, one man had enough of the male bashing. Peter Reagan, a single parent in Calgary, filed a complaint with Advertising Standards Canada after he took exception to an ad for Rona. The spot depicts a female Rona employee dealing with a female customer who laments that her husband never helps around the house. The clerk responds, quote, that's okay. They, meaning all husbands, are all like that. Well, the Advertising Standards Council decided the commercial indeed contravened regulations and, quote, disparaged men and or married men. And they asked Rona to remove or alter the ad. Yet, what is the unspoken strategy of having men cast as dimwits in the first place? It cannot be random chance. In fact, it's statistically impossible that in almost all ad scripts, the male is the one who is dazed and confused while the woman, or even a child, is portrayed as an oracle of wisdom. My hunch, when it comes to getting slagged, men tend to take it, well, <laughs> like a man. Aside from the aforementioned Rona complainer, men tend to be stoic and silent about such slights. York University marketing professor Alan Middleton adds another noteworthy point. He told me since women in many households control the purse strings, ad agencies figure it's not a very prudent idea to upset the individual who is likely to make the purchase. Thus, if the script calls for adult, it's a no-brainer. The man will play the fool. Indeed, as long as the complainers such as Peter Reagan remain the exception as opposed to the rule, expect men to be depicted as dumbbells in advertising for years or even decades to come. Then again, what do I know? Bottom line, this Father's Day, give Dad a hug. Tell him you love and respect and admire him. And tell Papa that despite what so many mail bashers would try to get you to buy into, you just don't believe the hype. And that's the Men's Wade Monologue.